we have to really bear in mind that it's not a static world we have been looking at. Over these 30 years, the world has also changed. China has emerged, for example, as being a dominant power in the world, which it wasn't at the time while, while that was being founded. And because of China's progress, judged in terms of um, people's proportion of population below some specified poverty line in Khan, that has declined. There have been also regression even in that respect in parts of Africa and parts of Latin America. There have also been an understanding that even just the increase in uh, GDP and reduction in the number of people below the poverty line does not eliminate the kind of deprivation, the kind of hardship that motivated people to work on better economics and a better society. The problem of development and the deprivation of human life remains a central issue, even when they have become a much bigger understanding, much deserved understanding of the role uh, climate, of the environment in it. So the centrality of human life is very important in that. I think to some extent, uh, Gru Brundtland in the Brundtland Commission report already uh, made a major step forward in trying to understand uh, the environmental challenge, not as limiting economic growth, but making growth sustainable. Sustainable in terms of human quality of life. I would say not just the standard of living of human beings, but everything that human beings value. Some of the debates on climate, including global warming being the only concern, has tended to downplay other dangers. For example, the World Bank in a famous statement declared nuclear energy as one of the clean energies. Now, you have to say that in Fukushima. So in a world of one priority, global warming to be reduced, you miss out a lot of things. You have to take, an, again, a wider view. The need to address the issue of measurability has become much stronger today. I think people don't understand what measurability is. Measurability is basically ranking. It begins by saying A is better than B than, than C. So when somebody says a life without culture and neglecting cultural features makes the society impoverished, you already are measuring something, you're ranking. It's a question of what type of measurability we are seeking. Aristotle put it more than 2,000 years ago to every subject you have to seek that degree of exactness which the content of the subject matter uh, allows.